everyone and welcome back to Zoo Crafting! I am Zookeeper Siri and we are here outside of Tate's Fishing Pier. Look at this, doesn't this path just look amazing? I cannot believe, oh look at all the puppies, they're so excited. I cannot believe how much we have accomplished over the last week thanks to your guys' help. It has just been absolutely fantastic. Oh my gosh, I still can't believe we've actually gotten something done. This has been on our list forever and now, now when you come down this little path and you turn around, well let's clear some of this grass away so it looks a little nicer. There we go. We definitely do need to put like a little forest flower garden in here of some kind. That'll be on our list of things to do. Anybody want to carry this carrot seed for me? Anybody want to carry it? Is it a potato seed actually? Anyone want to carry the potato seed for mom? Anybody? Anybody? Nope. Okay, that's fine, puppies. That's fine. But yes, now when you come down the path on your way to the Temperate Forest exhibits, you can turn and you can see Tate's Fishing Pier and Tate and Tackle Bait Shop. And you can come right down here. Look at this. I managed to get the oak tree to grow the way I wanted, doing that trick where you put the sapling down and then you put five little blocks of cobblestone next to it and bash it with bone meal. And we ended up with this beautiful thing. It, it just fills in that empty area exactly how I was hoping it would. We come on down the path. You can see the beautiful moss growing up. You can see all the fragrant ferns, the appetites holding onto the trees. Come on down a little bit more and look at that. Look at these piers! Oh, they're just fantastic. Where's my fishing rod? I've got to use my fishing rod a little bit more. Oh, it's almost completed, you guys. The only thing I can really think that we need to add in now <laughs> are basically scraps like when I just picked up this stick. That can go in here. And then, you know what, let's leave some of the seeds so it can be like, yeah, here's some random bait you could use. So that would be kind of fun just to pretend like that's bait. And I want to put in some fishing rods into these chests and just some random scraps of things. Also, I found the other turtle. It's, there it goes, there it goes, there it goes, swimming turtle. Look at him go. Look at him go, that's so cute. I love that we can get those turtles. That's all set up. Oh my goodness. Just... This is fantastic. Isn't this beautiful? Look how beautiful this is. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys so much for all of the ideas and just for the progress we've made and darn it. Tate, Tate, for crying out loud. Oh gosh. <laughs> and I really, I may go through and I may replace all of the piers. Ash, that was you. Okay, everybody sit down. Everybody sit down for a second. But I may come over and I may actually replace all of this wood later with carpenter's blocks and we'll do half slabs instead of full slabs, but I kind of like this too. Maybe I should just put a sign, please be careful dogs don't get stuck under dock. Like that, that might, that might do it. But we also have our little snapping turtle over here and let's come back over and do a little more fishing. And basically this area just looks amazing and that is in huge part to all of the great suggestions you guys have given me as we continue to work on this zone. So thank you all so, so much for that. And I'm sitting and waiting. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, we got a new box. What's in the box? It's string. Yay. We can put some string in here. That's hilarious. Oh, I love just fishing with aquaculture. It is just so much fun. Was that something? <gasps> wow. A muscalunge. I am not familiar with it, but it's like two pounds. Two pounds of fish. So we can bring that with us. All right, we'll go ahead and put that into our big old chest here. But yeah, so today, my friends, today is a Saturday special, which means our hour-long Saturday special. And we have been working so hard on the docks. Oop. Oh, look at Ashlyn. She's talking about the cookies. She must be having a really good time. Oh, I'm so happy. Hmm, cookies do taste a little bit better than raw mushrooms. I'll admit it. <laughs> That's wonderful, Ashlyn. But, oh, oh. <gasps> we should get a giant lily pad. We'll give Alex a giant lily pad today, since it is the Saturday special, and we have been working so hard over on the docks for the last few days. I wanted to go and take our presents to Alex to him. The banana saplings, the sculpture pieces that are meant to help light up the uh, little restaurant that he has. I want to take back the villager that we got from his place that um, we cured. It was a zombie villager. We cured him. He's actually a priest who can give out glowstone, so maybe Alex will have a home for him. Oh, look, we have raw tuna over here. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Uh, look, we could give some ammonite shards to him, too. Just various presents that we can try to, like, hand off. Maybe he already has some sculpture pieces that seem like they're glowstone pieces in his bat caves. And maybe just tour his area a little bit more, eat at the restaurant today, and I want to pull off a prank. We're going to pull off a prank on Pavo, and it's going to be a pretty fun prank. It's one one I've been saving just for today because I think it's going to be awesome, but it's one I've had in mind for quite a while, so I'm really excited. We're going to we're gonna go visit Alex and leave him some presents. They're not as many presents as I wish they were, but they're enough, and we are going to pull a prank on Pavo. So those are the goals today, and we'll have to do that after 
we put in some of the yeah we'll do it after we put in just a few fishing rods here and there in these chests just so i feel like everything is completed all right let's take these over here look at all the fish we've got and these presents will actually take like a whole bunch of these fish maybe everything we have <gasps> look you have the little raw snail ah oh, we could either trade it for the peafowl so that the peafowl could eat the raw snail or we could feed it to the snapping turtle down here and get an empty shell that would be so fun oh my goodness so much to do so much to do but we're probably going to empty out our entire chest of fish and other various things and give all of the fish to alex as a present because we are trying to give him some things for his cats he's got some Several of those amazing South American wild cats and I want to go see those guys again too so that's gonna be fun it's gonna be a very full day let's go ahead and get started by gathering up the puppies ash oh my goodness come on ash we'll get some of them put back in the dog run I might swap out for iris for a little bit because iris could probably stretch her legs I'm not sure if she has anything if she's managed to like get her inventory full of things we're really gonna have to bathe all the dogs next doggy bath day all right, let's come over. Ah, and last time we came over here and gathered up the sugar cane earlier this week, we ended up with some gold and an unexpected prince of the peafowl. So we'll do that too. Oh, and I need to deliver this little bird. We need to actually take this bird. It's a nice little parrot over to the hummingbird exhibit. So we've got to add him there too. All right. All right, Mr. Komodo Dragon. Don't attack me. Don't attack me. You don't want to do this. You really don't want to do this. My dogs will attack you. I'm trying to save your life. Oh my gosh. Run into the Confuciornis exhibit. We can lose him. Gather up the mushrooms while we run. That's the, the mark of a real a real good runner. Did he give up? Oh, he gave up. All right, we're good. <laughs> Don't worry, puppies. Oh, geez. Okay. Hang on. Rotten flesh all around. Rotten flesh all around. A little bit of zombie jerky. There you go, Ash. There you go, Tate. Alia, leave the, leave the Komodo dragon alone. Oh, goodness. I'm glad they give up if you run away from him for long enough. Because I really didn't want to have to accidentally kill him. And it would have been accidental because if he bit me, the dogs would have gone after him. All right, let's gather up these sugar canes. Do, 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 Got it, got it, got it, got it. There's a snake nearby? Hello? Hello, little snake? Oh, there we go. Sorry about that. Okay, and I found the snake, I think. No, that's just dirt. <laughs> I was so excited. I was like, oh, that must be the, the boa, the boa. It must be over there. I think it's probably up in the trees, maybe, because I've heard this snake over here for forever. We just never see it, but that's okay. Let's continue moving, and oh, darn, since we're over here, I feel like we need to be responsible really quickly. We'll gather up the Spanish moss real quick because that makes some wonderful string, and I am so excited. You know what? I am really loving... Ah! Ah! Oh no! Komodo dragon! You're dead now! Maybe it was the Komodo dragon hissing. Alia! Alia, good girl, Alia! You saved mom! Are you guys okay? Lily, you too! Oh goodness. Well, that ended not the way I wanted. So it wasn't a snake. It was the sound of the Komodo dragon all along hissing. It just sounded the same as the snake. Well, I feel bad for the Komodo dragon, but I did try to avoid him. <laughs> and then I forgot. So that'll be a lesson learned on me. Ah, oh, and look at our beautiful trees. I love our donor trees. They're just gorgeous. And let's go ahead and we're going to scooch up here. But yeah, I am actually so excited to go visit everybody else because when we visit the other zoo crafters, it is just so thrilling to see what they've been doing. And I need to visit more people. It seems like I always get caught up in the same two places because we're constantly trading presents with each other. And I'm just like, oh, I got to give somebody a present. Got to give this person a present. Got to give that person a present. And then I just, I think I wait too long. I feel like I have to wait till I have these big, giant, amazing gifts. And sometimes just making sure somebody has, darn it, that's not what I wanted. There we go. Making sure somebody just has something, even if it's not the huge fantastic thing you were thinking about, is just really important. All right, there's the reptile hide that we just got from, um, yeah, the reptile hide we just got from that poor Komodo dragon. Oh dear. I did try to warn him. All right, and let's see what else. Um, should I take some shiny gemstones? There's an amylite shell. Anything else? Should I give something else? Here, let's give the, the really cool little onyx gems that we made to Alex too as a present. Because I think that would be nice. Oh, look at the malachite. Oh, that's so pretty. Man, I want to have I want to have a gem museum. I definitely need to have a gem museum at some point. That would be amazing. All right, let's come upstairs. So, oh, wait, no, we want to go downstairs. I remember what we're doing now. We're getting fishing rods. 
<laughs> We're getting fishing rods. Siri has remembered. Okay, and I need some sticks for that and some string. And we actually just gathered up that string. So we'll take down some fishing rods to do, 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 do. I, I'm pretty sure I know the fishing rods. Isn't it just like this? And is it two string and then like that? Yeah. All right. So we'll grab these. <gasps> Should we give them like random enchantments? Let's randomly enchant these fishing rods. That is like one of the coolest ideas I've had yet. Let's just put some random enchantments on these fishing rods and just see what happens. That would be so fun. That would be so fun. And then after we get these fishing rods down there, I think we're probably pretty darn done when it comes to taking care of um, Tate's pier. Like if you guys can think of more stuff to add on the outside, maybe a few more willow saplings, eh, I think is pretty okay. Other than like doing some of the landscaping and gardening, I think we're almost done. That would be so cool. And of course the Tate and bait, or the Tate and tackle, a uh, little bait shop is something entirely different. Darling! Good morning, darling. I'm so excited. I'm on a vacation with them right now. By the time you guys are watching this, darling and I are on the road together. We're going to all sorts of museums and we're eating at all sorts of delicious vegan places and we're seeing my family and friends and everybody's happy. A lot of our family and friends, well, my family and, well, you know, the darling's family too, so it's all family, all family. But uh, a lot of my family and a lot of my friends live in Missouri. And a lot of darling's friends who turned out to be my friends and long story short my high school friends met darling uh on the like in japan long story short my high school friends from missouri met darling and online and they became best friends and then i fell out of touch with my high school friends and years later years and years later after graduating high school met darling on the east coast far away from missouri and we were talking and it's like yeah i have this friend and i was like oh that's that name is the name of my old friend and it's like yeah does he look like this and this and this and is this his facebook and i'm like holy moly that's his facebook that's him so yeah we share the same friends and i live in missouri and it's really cool all right so random enchantments on these fishing rods we'll do one high level one and in fact let's go get essence berries do i need the essence i need the essence berries i'm so excited about this idea darling all right well i need to put the sugar cane away i'm just too excited i'm just so excited my trip's coming up and i'm gonna be with darling hello ladies do you guys have enough sugar i've got enough sugar there not enough here there you go primrose there you go all right and i'm i here's a dodo egg oh gosh we need to go to relic ruin still i keep saying that and the essence berries. Here's a couple piles of essence berries. So let's just go ahead. We're going to start randomly enchanting these fishing rods. So here we go in level 30 enchantment. Luck of the sea, three. And here we go. We need to eat more essence berries. So we'll do like just a couple level 30s. And then everything else will just be low level. And it'll just be fun to see what people can end up with. You just open up the chest and you just don't know like what might be hiding inside. There we go. So let's do another level 30 enchantment. And unbreaking three, luck of the sea two, lure two. That looks like fun. All right, and do we have, let's just see what we can get from the others. So not all of them might be enchanted. We'll just go through a couple stacks. We have so many essence berries upstairs. I love these things. This is why we save them. All right, almost there, there we go. All right, and let's enchant, let's see, 18, unbreaking two, lure one, and five, unbreaking one, and five, unbreaking one. There we go, so we have some luck of the seas, and some unbreaking, and a whole bunch of other fishing rods, and we can put those down into the chest. So do we need to make, I don't think we need to make a special wooden fishing rod, I'm pretty sure, the recipe for the wooden fishing rod, like they're the same thing for aquaculture. And then you can make iron fishing rod, golden fishing rod, and diamond fishing rod, and the admin fishing rod, but that's like for creative only sort of testing purposes. And the penguin fishing rod. I almost forgot about the penguin fishing rod. But we'll have all of the fishing rods and all of the fishing nets and everything for sale in the Tate and Tackle in the future. Constantly eating all of this, uh, constantly eating all of this cheesecake. Alia, are you visiting with Captain Kaz? Interesting, Alia. All right, let's keep moving and we'll go back down and we're going to put the fishing rods away 
and then gather up a whole bunch of fish. And we're going to go visit Alex and leave him his presents. Hello, everybody. Sunflower, aster seed, spring. When spring comes, we'll breed them. And as usual, when we breed our animals, you guys help. You guys help at deciding how many of them they'll be by leaving likes, and then that's how many babies we'll have. Not like like to like, but like when we did the puppies, we did like 100 likes, and that would be a puppy. And so it's entirely... Oh, look how beautiful those willows look. <gasps> we might have to put more willows on the other side. Oh my gosh, they look so good around the lake. This is looking so awesome. But yeah, when we bred the red wolves, then people actually, it was 100 likes to a puppy. And it's just so fun leaving it in your guys' hands and just seeing what happens. So now we can just fill this with some random fishing rods. And let's see, maybe put in, we'll put in the, the luck of the sea three over here. And that way, if people just want to stop by and they just want to pick up a slightly used fishing rod that's just hanging out in here, then they totally can. And we'll come over to this one. Oh, I like hearing the turtle go snap, snap, snap. All right. Maybe we'll put some grass over here. I'm not really sure. Maybe uh, some mushrooms. <laughs> there we go. Like that's the little lure. Oh, and puppies are drowning. I really might need to replace that with half slabs or just be more careful with my dogs. All right, there we go. And there we are. Okay, so gathering presents. Going to give presents to Alex. That's the next goal. So let's see. Presents to give. And there's the scary horse we have. We also need to get some money because we need to, we need the money because we want to go eat at his restaurant. I, that was so much fun. That was so much fun. And if he has set up the trader with the, the sculptures yet, I am going to buy so many of those sculptures. That is just amazing. All right, and let's see. Here are his other presents. So let's go ahead and move them. And I'll put this away for now. We, I know that the jungle saplings and I know that the bone meal are for reforesting the, um, the deforestation zone, which we'll, we might go visit pretty soon. And I know that they're meant like as a prank to reforest the deforestation zone, but I don't think that's a prank. I think that it is more geared towards like uh, being like a, a Captain Planet kind of action person, like rescuing the planet by going in and putting trees back down where they belong. Um, oh, and then let's put these down really quickly. Puppies, one, two. Where are my other ones? Puppy girls. Okay, don't drown. I'll, I'm going to let you guys be there. Let's go ahead and we're going to put these down really quickly. And we'll kind of mix them in. There we go. Maybe one right there. Maybe one right there. Right here. And over here. And maybe there and there. Very nice. Man, this is awesome. All right. So we're going to put Alex's gifts over here. So uh, chestnuts come out. Amnite shell. Onyx. Sculptures, okay, and all this is going to end up being fish. Oh, and I have a panda. There, there is that. I do just have a random panda in my pocket. <laughs> oh, why does that happen so often? We just end up with pandas in our pockets so often, and I'm just going to try to empty this. I guess put it all down here. Um, let's see. There we go. We could give him some orange juice. If he wants some orange juice to drink so he can have jump boost and regeneration. there That's a thing too. All right. And then, oh yeah, I was going to give him these two. There. I'm trying to put all of his presents in one backpack. That's what this chaos is currently about. And I know so many of you guys are probably like tearing your hair out going, Siri, it's so messy. I can't see a thing. How do you do that, Siri? Just clean it all up. And I think this is his villager that we're going to return. And so that and there. All right, and let's gather up the fish. Fish, 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 fish. I don't think he needs the jellyfish, maybe. We'll give him more like the groupers, the perches, the carp, big old giant carp. Um, I'm going to keep the goldfish and the bluegill because that seems to be the majority of what we can catch here. Um, clownfish. I don't know if he wants the octopus. Eel. You could have some little frogs. All right, there we go. And let's see, the tuna. Ooh, catfish, because you know the cats for the catfish. Uh, I'll swap those out. There we go. And that should be fun because he should be able to hopefully feed. Well, and the scallops aren't going to help because the cats don't eat scallops. Um, okay, I'm pretty sure at least. I mean, they're no, they don't go fishing for scallop. You know what I mean? Here's another trout. And so here's some progress on presents. Phew. And then we can get some fish just from downstairs. And I want to get him a... Oops, and I forgot these presents too. 
I want to get him a giant lily pad to go with these lilies. So let's go see if I can afford a giant lily pad really quickly. Thankfully, it is our Saturday special where we get to spend so much time together, my friends. And that time really helps when we need to do things like just a little bit of chores or some work so we can earn some money and come over and talk to our elven gardener, Ashlyn. And I need one diamond coin, which is two stacks of coins in order to afford the huge lily pad. So I also have huge lily pads. I think he actually gave me some as a present though. Huh. So let's actually, instead of getting the huge lily pad, let's get the flower. Let's get the huge lily flower. Because I don't think he has that, and that's only half a stack. So we can do some work for half a stack. Let's come see how the gardens have potentially spread over here with Keeper Adelaide. Hello, Keeper Adelaide! How are you doing? Let's see. And she'll also take shears for a lot of Zookeeper experience points. So there's another thought. So let's see if the gardens have spread at all. Um, it doesn't look like they have just yet. Because we did come through here and we pretty much cleaned the gardens out. Like, this one has spread, but that's not one of the gardens that she actually collects. And it looks like this one has spread. Oops, if I could reach it. All right, come here, you. All right, so there's one spot. We'll have to see if those are some of the gardens that she collects. Hello, white-tailed deer. Man, it's pretty in here. Look at all my dogs. <laughs> They're just playing around in the white-tailed deer exhibit. Oh, gosh. All right, and let's come over and see if I can get some food for my wolves and maybe yeah look at all that chicken look at all this this is how we can get the zookeeper experience points that's for sure i need to put down more fruit bait or vegetable bait though and i'm out of veggies for here all right we'll put all this away there we go a bunch of feathers i'm just gonna have to leave some of that all right so let's go do our trades and get our giant flower or two and then we'll take our presents over and we'll just have to cross our fingers that that's enough presents because he keeps leaving so many amazing ones and I love it. So I just, I always want it to be like something fantastic. But I guess I'm just kind of like that in real life too where it's just like, hey, you want some of this? You want some of this? Like just little presents. All right. So we have a few pieces of vegetable that we can trade to her. Thank you. Thank you so much, Adelaide. I love having her back. It's so much fun. I hope the Adelaide's, um, Adelaide's person is happy about that too. Oh, and we can harvest this little garden up. Fur, how are you doing? I have some chicken. Uh, oh, and actually I forgot about that. They have rabbit too. So chicken and rabbit. And I'll give you one of the little leather pieces. You got a bone last time, I'm pretty sure. And then, oh, I'm so hungry. Oh no, I'm hungry. Okay. Roseberry tea it is. Do, do, do. Not surprisingly, roseberry tea is not terribly filling. All right, and then spruce. Thank you, Maple. I need to be scooping the wolf poop while we're in here anyway, I suppose. All right, so there's one flower at least. And then we'll give you a little bone and have a little bit of rabbit and a few chickens. I'm gonna, here's more chickens and another bone because you're gonna share with your sibling, Spruce. Whoops, throw my zookeeper experience points on the ground. It's maple, Spruce, you two are sharing. All right, great. I've got the wolf poo. Wonderful. Um, boom. There we go. All right. All right. And then let's come over. Redwood, there you are. Hello, Redwood. All right. Let's trade with you really quickly. I need to make sure. I think I accidentally brought the dogs in here. So we're going to move really quick because that was totally an accident. There's for Redwood. And then I'm going to give Meadow the rest because Redwood and Meadow are the parents. And so I usually give them most of the stuff because I trust them to be able to sort it out amongst their kids. There we go. All right, and there, and there, and ta-da! Almost two stacks. And let's get the dogs out of here. I never ever mean to bring the puppies in here and that's a big no-no. Big no-no. Hello, Adelaide. All right, let's put this down. Nothing, nothing. Must have been old poop. Couldn't use it for fertilizer. And then we can come on down to our ATM, who I still haven't done the half stacks on. Ah, I forget as almost as soon as I do it. Oh, just wait. They'll end up being like another side quest episode where it'll be like, Siri forgot. <laughs> it'll just be like, Siri, it's to-do list or something like that. Just trying to catch up on everything. But I love how much we always have to do, you guys. It's just so fantastic. All right. And now we're going to come down. I'm going to wash my hands. It's compulsive because I used to be in nursing and you just uh, I want to wash my hands because I touch poop. Okay, and then let's see, huge water lilies. Let's go ahead, we'll get four of these. What on earth? Okay, come on. Come on. Oh my gosh. A sudden. Oh my gosh, tell me they're, they're just. 
What even is going on here? Oh, that's what's going on. They're starving. Whoa. Whoa, puppies. Oh, yeah. Get out of there. Whoa. Easy there. Easy there. I'm so sorry. I thought they were stuck under something. And I was like, oh, let's run for it so they aren't stuck under something anymore. Oh, my goodness. Everybody, come on. We'll go up to the dog run. Oh, gosh. That was totally unintentional. But there we go. For the most part, guys, Tate's fishing pier is done. I'm so proud! I'm so proud! I'm so proud! Okay, come on, let's get these guys up to their dog beds ASAP. And then we're off. We're off and we're adventuring. And I, I need to gather up Alex's gifts and Pavo's pranks. So the prank on Pavo is going to be the other thing we need to gather up. But first, we need to get the dogs up into the dog run. Oh, gosh. Um, I need to be on the ladder, please. <laughs> Oh goodness, there we go. <laughs> I climbed up the moss instead of the ladder and I couldn't I couldn't just like walk over to it, so that was a little interesting. Oh, and now it's raining. Oh puppies! Oh puppies, hang on. We're getting you. We're getting you up to the dog run. I'm so sorry. Everything you guys have been through. Everything you guys have been through. I'm so sorry. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, let's get him get him into the dog run. Get him into the dog run. Snowy and beautiful. Snowy and beautiful. Into the dog run. Aki, why are you stuck again? All right. Over here. Over here by the bed. Over here by the bed, everybody. Come on. All right, Tate. Let's sit you down. Tate, sit down. Good boy. Okay, that's the bird. Oh, I need to put the bird away still, too. Oh, gosh. Okay. We've got this. We've got this. Not too worried. We've got this. All right. Tate, come here. All right. There. Tate's better. We'll leave him here. Ash, come. All right, Ash. There, Ash is better. Now we'll put him here. Alia knew what to do. Oh, I wonder if she likes the little, the little like, sheep plushie. There you go. And Lily, come here. All right, so everybody is better. Everybody stay here and rest for a minute because that really worried me. Oh, my gosh. All right, so the dogs are okay. They're where they belong. I've got some berries in my hand. I need to get Aki unstuck. Aki. Aki. Aki? Oh, never mind. She's not stuck. She's just doing her own thing. And also my spider children. I know I mentioned a few days ago to you guys that I know where to put them because you guys have suggested it. It's behind my little waterfall. For those of you who don't know, there is a hidden cave up there behind our waterfall. And I'm thinking about putting down maybe some special glass blocks so that we can go up and look at our spider children and add in more. We can collect just tons of them from Twilight Forest and I think that would be pretty cool. So we'll probably put them up there. But we're not going to do that just yet. Also, I'm going to gather up this pepper really quickly. Just really quickly. There we go. Where's some pepper? There we go. All right. Look at that. So fun. So fun. All right. We'll gather all the sweet potatoes up and we're going to put these away. Phew. All right. Well, that's keeping me on my toes and busy. Now we have Alex's present. So the other half of what we need to do is prepare for Pavo's prank. And most of you guys are probably pretty curious about how we are going to be pranking Pavo. And I actually have a special idea in mind. Let me get some of these things cleared out. In fact, I need to just got to I'll put those fairy slippers back later. All right. We just need to do a little bit of clearing out so I have room to carry all of the many, 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 many things we're going to take for Pavo's prank. So Pavo and Mara are the two who pranked us when they brought all of the cake. And the cake is going to be around for a long time. So I wanted to return the favor. I just wanted to give them something kind of fun that they can kind of have to cope with. And I don't know what I'm going to do for Mara just yet, but I know what I'm going to do for Pavo. So, let's go ahead and finish cleaning out my inventory really quickly. And see, just this backpack and this one. Yeah, I'm going to have to get a little bit more space. So, we're just going to... Well, I'm not going to complain. But... I'm not sure what I'm going to do with two boyfriends. Hmm. I'll let them converse amongst themselves. <laughs> yeah, that's, I'll have to deal with that later. Okay, so, um, Pavo, pranking. All right, let's, let's, moving on, moving on. All right, let's go ahead and put this wool. Oh, fine. Fine, we'll just go there. I'm so scattered now because that, that definitely, 
I wasn't expecting that. You don't, you don't uh, cloning chickens, cloning squickens. I can kind of understand that. Cloning boyfriends? Not really. It's not really my thing. We'll have to, we'll have to figure out what we're going to do about that. Goodness gracious. All right, and I'm going to put the iron gravel away. And I kind of want to keep the tin cans because they're kind of adorable. But there's nothing else to do with them. So I'll just stick those in there too. All right, ore ingots, stick that away. Machinery, that means more rubber. Um, what are the colors? Here's some wood. Have some wood. Carpenters, this is wood too. This is, this is carpenters. Um, I've got lots of shears. Oh, my little diamond shovel's almost broken. All right, before we leave today, I definitely need to stick it into the dishwasher. So I'll have to make some soap in just a minute. All right, let's grab this. This is that cool gold ingot we got when the, um, when we found the prince of the pea fowl earlier. That was pretty fun. There. Phew. All right, and I need to leave this book and quill as well because that was, that was just something given to us as a present. So I'm going to leave this here. Well, actually, I might need some of these for the prank idea I have in mind. Do I have any other piles of bone meal? I think I've gone through all of the bone meal that I used to have, actually. So that's a little bit of a problem, but that's okay. We'll work on it in the future. Um, and I'm going to put away stone and marble, I guess. I can, yeah, the stalactites and stalagmites are in here. So they can go here. Leather's more in loot. I really wish I had a sorting system for these things, too. But I think that'd be a little too excessive. Because now we're not talking about any specific class of items. We're just talking about, like, hundreds of them. Um, so you know what I like to do? You know my awesome sorting system? La, 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 la. <laughs> it's called the shoving things into a crate and crossing your fingers shorting, sorting system. And it actually works out pretty good. All right. And I can put some of these things away. And then... Pavo's prank. So, what are we going to do to Pavo? Well, you know, Pavo loves peafowl. And remember when we went and were, um, yep, yep, yep. Let's climb up here. Remember when we left Bluebell just walking in the peafowl garden for so long? And remember what ended up inside of her inventory? Dozens of peafowl eggs? Well, it occurs to me, it is probably a good idea to take all of these peafowl eggs, and then, because we have so many peafowl, darling and darling, I don't know which one to kiss, so I'm just gonna kinda like walk over here instead. <laughs> we have more peafowl eggs right over here, and more up here. Look at all these peafowl eggs. And we have even more stacks of peafowl eggs down at the Egg Research Center. So, it occurred to me, Perhaps we should share the joyful abundance of how many peafowl we have with our good friend Pavo and just hatch tons of these peafowl into, um, into his yard and just see how, uh, if he enjoys having that many peafowl and what he may do with them. I think it sounds like a marvelous, fun idea. Also, I probably need to do... All right, we'll do a few trades. I'm going to turn that into some easier to use currency before we leave for Alex's place. Um, oh, and I need, I need, oh, okay. This is a book and quill that just was like a secret note. Whoops, for that prank. Um, since it isn't signed, I'll actually reuse this book to leave it for Alex. And then I need a chest, darling. And where's the other darling? I don't know what to do about that. Maybe maybe they'll just resolve and like merge together once again. That, that'll be, that's, that's always interesting. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead, is it normal planks? I don't know if those are normal planks. They look like normal planks. So I'm just gonna use these ones. And I need a chest, a double chest. There we go. That we can leave for Alex as a thank you. All right, this is gonna be so fun. I love these Saturdays because we can get like lots of random things done and discover lots of random things. Like Siri has apparently two boyfriends all of a sudden. All right, well, that'll be, that'll be another day. Another day, another episode, another figuring out what to do. All right, let's go ahead, leave Aki to her hard work and run over here. There we go, there we go. And we're gonna go ahead and I think I'm gonna bring Jojo, Lily, and Iris this time. There we go. So we're bringing this crew. And let's go down and we're going to gather up the rest of the peafowl eggs. And we are also... I'll gather these up while we're doing this. And we are also going to be gathering up... Um, or leaving the little parrot that we've been carrying around in the safari net for a little while. So we'll leave the little parrot. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. 
No, I think we've done pretty good. We're doing pretty good. I'm excited. Then we'll go visit Alex's place, take a peek around, and then have the p-file prank. Should be pretty entertaining. All right, down we go. Man, I love this place. Isn't it just so pretty? Oh, and then somebody suggested leaving some of these rocks that we have. So we'll check if I have any spares of those rocks in my... Uh, oh, hello! Hello, little chameleons! Oh, I love watching them change color. It's just the most fun thing in the world. All right. Hey, you! Hey, you noisy one up there! I brought you a new friend! Now you guys can be noisy together! There he goes! Alright, don't hurt yourself! And look at all the chameleons! Ah, they're so cute! Look at all the chameleons! Are you gonna change color? <gasps> Is he changing color? Look at these chameleons! Ah, look at the chameleons! They're so cool! I love them so much! Oh my gosh, there's a chameleon right here! Look! <gasps> Perfect! It's so perfect. He's like, you don't see me. You don't see me. Oh, pink chameleon. Okay, that was the best. That was absolutely the best. All right. So next stop. Do, 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 do. Is the egg research center. And the blaze chickens are doing okay. I don't know why we had some suffocations. Um, but there, there's still six of them in here. All right, there we go. Watch out, guys. Watch out. All right, let me gather these up really quickly. But yeah, we still do have some blaze chickens. I need to get blaze rods so we can start cloning them pretty soon. I wonder, should we combine some of the... We'll save. We'll save the more of what we've got. Uh, let's grab these peafowl eggs too. So many peafowl eggs. These are all excess eggs, so I don't feel badly about taking them to hatch over at our wonderful friend Doo -doo -doo, Pavo's place. All right, there's peafowl eggs. No peafowl eggs there. And here's a couple stacks of peafowl eggs. I'll leave that stack. But all the rest are coming with us. And we're going to try to go hatch. Hello, Cracker Jack. It's been so long since I've seen you. I've missed you. Okay, so that's taken care of. And we're ready to go. We're good to go, you guys. And look at this. Oh, look at this beautiful fish exhibit. That is totally the reason that we even have Tate's Dock now. I know I say it all the time, all the time, but I am still really happy with how you have to go on like a mission to get maybe just one plant or build just one thing or have just one kind of NPC to trade with. And the next thing you know, you are just on this big, gigantic, really fun mission. It's awesome. All right. Hello, p -fowl. Do you guys want to give me a few more eggs for the road? Oh, look, there's the Prince of p -fowl. I feel like he really does need the... Oh my gosh! That was a gold ingot. <gasps> the prince lays gold? He lays gold? Okay. That solves that mystery. That's the coolest thing ever. You guys have probably been telling me that in the comments. And I just haven't seen it yet because I've been working. But oh, God, or like on my little trip with my darling. But that is so cool. So the prince of Peafowl lays gold ingots. I, oh, that is just awesome. That is just awesome. With his help, we'll have plenty of golden apples to be able to heal all my zombie villagers. Yes, yes, that is so cool. All right, well, let's run through. And we'll just find if there's any more stray eggs. It kind of feels proper to take the gigantic stacks of peafowl eggs that I've ended up collecting and giving them, let's see, there we go, and giving them to the creator of the exotic birds mod which is Pavo. And Pavo is so friendly, just in case you guys were wondering. And he makes amazing, amazing, um, he makes amazing signs, as you guys have seen many times. All right, so let's head home. All right, so we are now ready to officially, unless I want to pick some papaya as well. I mean, I'm one of those people where, like, I always wonder, is this enough for a present? Is this enough? Is this enough? I do that in real life, too. It's like, are you sure this is enough? I'm one of those people who ends up, like, getting a gift I think is nice, but then I, I still worry. I'm like, but is it nice enough? So I also, like, throw in a gift card, and then I wonder if that's too impersonal. So then I, like, try to make a little card by hand, and then I wonder if that's, like, too silly. So I just, then I try to take you out for dinner, and before you know it, I've, like, overdone it tremendously. <laughs> Just because I'm so like, ah, oh, I don't know, I don't know. I just want people to be happy. All right, papaya should be good. Come here, papaya. All right, come here. All right, got it, got it, got it. And let's go home. All right. And from home, we will go to the teleportation chameleon. Actually, is this the way? 
I think I overshot it. Where is... I need a path. I need a path to my, my path. Where's my path? I thought I had a path to my path. I do. I do. It's right there. Okay. I just overdid it. There we go. Yep. See, it all connects up right over here. Oh, and now I'm hungry. So we need to go eat some of that cake. And we're off. We're off, you guys. And I found out the Prince of Peafowl lays gold ingots, which is still one of the coolest things ever. And it's so rainy today. I wish it would stop raining. But we're okay. All right, I can climb up here. There's a beautiful tree of illumination. You know what? One of the other things I love is how much lore we have in our world. Because we have done so much work. And we just have so many stories. And we have so many plots. And we have so many characters. And we have so many places where we can just look back on what we built. And just be so immensely proud about it. It's fantastic. All right. Going to come over here. Close this. Going to run down here. Hello, everybody. All right. Got to eat some cake. Lots and lots of cake. And now we're headed off. We're headed off to Alex's place to leave our little presents and take another peek around his area. There's one of my darlings. Goodness. Having multiple darlings has never been something I've aspired to, but I'll, it'll probably fix itself <laughs> by tomorrow because that is kind of interesting. All right. Come along, my pup pups. Bring in three pup pups with me today. My little girl. My Zozo. And my Iris. All right. Come here, Iris. Iris, come here. Thank you, Iris. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, so teleportation chameleon, take us. Not to Alex's swamp, but La Paz Wildlife Refuge. And are we here yet? Are we here yet? <gasps> we're here, yay! Oh my goodness, thank goodness. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, we're back. I don't have the skins yet for the new guys. I should have asked before I came again. I got I got a little overexcited. I'm going to buy my ticket again because I think it would be a good thing to do. The annual pass. I don't have iron coins, so I'm just going to buy my ticket just because it seems like uh, that's polite. Plus, I like collecting them. I like collecting them. I'll, I'll get a ticket every time we come. <gasps> Look at it. Look at it. Okay, let's get the puppies out. And then we will start moving and grooving. And actually, where should I leave the gifts? Maybe over by the cats, because that's what we mostly brought is fish for the cats. All right. Well, come on, puppies. Um, actually, puppies, I think this is the wrong direction. So come on, puppies. No, this way. All right. Maybe it's this way. I'm pretty sure it's this way. Oh, look at the ocelot fountain. What? I didn't see this last time. This looks awesome. So it's an ocelot fountain. Look at that. Look at that with the water. And then you put down the border on top of the water. Man. Will Alex's... Whoops, sorry about that. Will Alex's little creativity never cease to amaze me. Have a business manage your own stall here. <gasps> we should do that. We should do that. We should do that. We should have a little stall where we sell stuff. Oh my goodness. That'd be so fun. Oh, and everybody's going to have custom skins now. I'm going to have to ask Alex for them. This is so exciting. Can we buy the things from the wood sculptor now? <gasps> we can. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. I'm so excited. Okay. Okay. Uh, Darian Kersey. Oh my gosh. Do the, are there names here? No, it's just like wood sculpting. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I'm so excited. <laughs> Okay, I definitely want the Fruit and Lent sculpture. Um, the Blue Morpho statue base. And the Blue Morpho would be so cool. Toucan statue. Ocelot. Owl statue. <gasps> There's so many. There's so many. Iguana statue. What? Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go with this guy. And then I want to get the Blue Morpho base. And then I want the Toucan statue. Basically, I could just buy all of these. In fact, I'm going to buy one of each for now. There we go. Oh, look, 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 they're all talking. Oh my goodness. And then we should probably get another rug. I don't know what I would do with the rug, but it's just fun to be like, yeah, I got it from over here. Um, let's get the orange one this time and I'll get six. So it's like a full rug and then I need to save the rest for food. But let's look at what these sculptures look like. So this is the blue morpho and there's the sculpture base and I missed. <gasps> it's a butterfly, you guys. Oh my gosh. All right, can I get this? Like, is this how I get it? No, I think I need to use a pick. I think I need, let's use my, my gentle, my gentle bat pick on it so that we don't hurt it. All right, come here. All right, beautiful, beautiful. Watch out, little girl. Watch out. I want to see, I think I need to approach it from this angle again. And nope, wrong angle. That's okay. The, that's what the sculptures take every day. <gasps> Look at this. Look at this. This is brilliant! Being able to buy, like, at everyone's different places the sculptures that they can make 
It's just, oh, oh, look at the owl sculpture. This, this is fantastic. Iris, okay, Iris stole my owl sculpture. I'm gonna have to be careful. All right, let's go ahead and put this away. Oh, this is so exciting. And then we'll put the little carpet away and the little ticket. It's so fun. It does feel like we're just on a little adventure going off to visit different places. It's just so awesome. All right, and let's look at the other other little sculpture. So here's the ocelot sculpture. It looks fantastic. I think we should put one in the library so that Persephone could have something to look at or maybe down with our security cats. Here's the Ferdinand sculpture for the snake. I love it. I love it. I love it. Watch out, Iris. All right, come here. And then, okay, Iris, you stole another one. That's fine. Here's the toucan sculpture. Look at it. Look at how cool that looks. Oh, this is awesome. I wonder if other people feel that excited when they buy like the sculptures that I make with the lilies. So maybe, maybe. I wonder if Ben's going to make like a big dinosaur nest sculpture. That would be really cool too. All right, let's continue on. So we need to find where the cats are again. And I think that, oh, look at this. Was this your last time? Where you can come up and you can see like into the alligator exhibit. Look at how cool this is. Oh my gosh, Zoe, get out of the alligator exhibit. All right, there's a butterfly. Here's a bunch of chests. Oh, this is the little info area. We didn't visit the info place last time, so if we come up, I'm just gonna take a peek. Partnered zoos. <gasps> look at this! There's like, oh my gosh, look, 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 look. My jaw is on the floor. My jaw is on the floor. Costa Rica. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, there's eggs. Costa Rica is home to over 840 different species of bird, seven of which are endemic. 25% of Costa Rican land is protected national parks, the highest in any country. Despite being only 0.12% of the Earth's land mass, Costa Rica has 5% of all the world's species. I have heard that it is one of the most biodiverse places in the entire world. So oh, this is this is this is amazing. This is everything. Oh, there's even there's even like a little little oh ah oh, ah oh, there's oh I'm just too excited. Just too excited. Costa Rica is located in Central America and has coastlines on both the Caribbean and Pacific Ocean. I am just blown away there's a vendor my dogs are misbehaving a little bit come here puppies all right everybody sit everybody sit please i'm going to be inside the info booth for a little bit longer i'm just gonna close the door here vendor penny please pay here hello penny oh she does different paintings oh my gosh can we actually i didn't think about that i wonder if we were actually able to um Go ahead and make those Bibliocraft paintings and then actually make them so that you can clone them and sell them like this. I hadn't even thought about that because that would be absolutely fantastic. All right, she's got her little computer so she can do her little work over here. This is a staff only section. I'm just going to take a teensy peek at where it leads to. It leads to the staff house over there where we have seen they have cake, chicken. They have cake in there for the staff. Oh, look, there's another chicken. It's a window chicken. I love it. Oh, that's so cute. All paintings, two iron coins each. Partnered zoos. Akira. <gasps> oh, the Pavacado Zoo. Oh my gosh. So can I leave information about what's at Zoo Desia Zoo here? I'm going to have to ask him. This is so cool. And it's just so beautiful. Oh my goodness. What's this? Oh, another info stand. I didn't even see you. Oh, an educator. If you want to leave any valuable here, we can... Here. Oh my gosh. This is like a safe NPC where they can store the valuables. I didn't even know we had that. Like and now that I see it, I remember we had that. But that is just so awesome. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is... Oh my goodness. All right. Come along, puppies. We need to find a spot where we can safely leave like our gifts where it won't get mixed in with all of the other stuff. Oh my gosh. Look at the statues. The what? Butterfly house. Everybody sit. Everybody sit now. Butterfly house. Oh, be still my heart. Butterfly house. <gasps> look at the toucan. Look at the toucan. Oh my goodness. Look at the birds. Look at the birds. There's birds here. There's birds in here. Oh my gosh. Can you spot all the toucans? Kill Bill Toucan, Chestnut Marble, Mandible Toucan, Emerald Toucanette. Oh my goodness, what's this? Some eggshells, oh my gosh, there's toucans in here. There's so many toucans. Oh, look at this, look at this cute little bridge. 
Oh, everything he does, everything he does. <gasps> Butterfly house. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Lift curtains to reveal chrysalis. <gasps> this is the silence of shock. Look at this. <laughs> He made crystalline little butterfly cr chrysalis. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And you can lift the curtain to see them. And this is fantastic. I need to like lean against a tree and catch my breath. Oh, there's a nest and another two can. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. And let's come in here. Blue morpho chrysalis. And then is that the little butterfly? Oh my gosh. Butterflies. Butterflies everywhere. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at them. Look at them. How far does this go? This is a wall. Okay. You guys, this is amazing. This is so amazing. I am so beyond happy right now. I just, I don't even have words. This is just so pretty. This is just all so pretty and it gives me so many ideas. Oh my goodness, okay. We need to go ahead and I didn't even see this whole section. This is the kind of inspiration that made me finish Tate's dock like in a week. This is fantastic, come along my loves. Oh my gosh, there's something down here too. <gasps> it's another spot you can observe everything from. I don't even know what's in here. Is this, what is in here? Is this, oh is this, is that, is that? That's the bridge. So this is another spot you can look into the aviary. Oh, this is just so cool. Alex, Alex, the job done here. Shh, the footpath passes. Oh my gosh, please proceed quietly. There's a nest. There's a little nest right here. This is fantastic. This is like a whole different level of professionalism. Here's the staff house. I need to get my dogs away from here because Iris cannot swim literally to save her life. And we need to find where the food is actually. And not you chicken, don't you worry. We need to actually go to the restaurant. Oh, an egg. No chick chick. We need to go to the restaurant and we need to leave our, our gift as well. Should I leave it by the staff house? No, like I said, I was gonna leave it by the cats because it is um, the, the a gift that we have is mostly for the cats. Oh, little mushrooms growing on the path. So cute. There's the wash closet that I got myself stuck in last time. And here we are. Here we are back to the amazing wild cats. The many, many amazing wild cats he has. Look at that guy. Just look at him. Looking at that chicken. <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful. It's all just so beautiful. Look at these ones. Oh, they're so pretty. And get out of there, Zoe. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's come over here. And then once the dogs teleport to us, I'm going to have them sit down. The little lampaca is over here. Iris, you sit too. All puppies sit, please. And I'm going to leave our present. What is that? This exhibit is temporary. And I've heard that all of these exhibits are going to get changed out pretty soon. So let's go ahead and where's the path over here? Well, next to the teleporter seems like a good idea. I'm not sure how long it will take him to find the present. Probably not too long because you guys will let him know it's here. But we'll put all of the gifts we brought in here. And I really hope that they're like good enough because he's given us so many things. So let's see. We got that. And then um, we'll put the fish in in just a second. Oh, let's grab the huge water lilies. There we go. All right. So we have a couple pieces like of the pond sculptures. Um, I guess I could put them down like this. Yeah, like that, maybe. And then maybe a couple things like this. And then there's like water lilies, like that. Uh, here's some orange juice. <laughs> it's not too fancy, but there's some orange juice. Um, I, could, I guess I could just put like the orange juice and things in here. And oh yeah, the, the trees. We were bringing the banana trees kind of as a little offering. I guess I could do it like this. So there's that. Um, gosh. I need like a peafowl egg in the center. I guess I could do that. There we go. And then we'll just put in all of the fish that we have also brought. And oh, actually, I know where the, we put the peafowl egg. I can actually put our note. That makes sense. I don't know if he needs a peafowl egg. So let's go ahead and line the top with all of the different fish we have brought for the cats. And then we'll just leave a short, sweet note letting him know. Oh, and the villager, and the villager. Yeah, that's what we'll do. 
We'll put the villager and we'll put all of the fish. And let's see, there's that. Look at this guy, Raw Grouper. Wow, he looks so big. Oh yeah, and the gems. How did I miss the gems? Wow, we actually, we have a lot. I feel better now. We've got, we've got quite a bit to offer um, as presents. So there's that. And let's see, more fish. Have a few more fish. And the villager, is this his villager? Let's make sure. Yes, it is. All right, hang on, buddy. You're gonna be put right here. And let's see, I think we'll keep the orange juice because now it doesn't fit. There's the catfish, there's the trout. And we could put like some froggies right there. So there we go, everything's all lined up and now we just need to write him a quick little short and sweet note. Don't worry, it won't take too long, guys. We're gonna reuse this book and quill. And it'll be like, Alex, thank you so much for all of, of the amazing work, ah, work fingers, work you do. Work fingers for crying out loud, you do. Um, your zoo, your builds are always an inspiration, and all of the amazing textures and work you do behind the scenes. And winky face, because you guys don't know the other stuff that he's working on. Winky face, winky face. Uh, continues to inspire me. Whoops, inspire me and our amazing community every day. Let's see. I love my new leaf helmet. Thank you so much for for replacing the one that Ben broke when he dropped that anvil on my head. Uh, I have been wanting a new one for so long. I've brought you a few gifts, one of which is a villager who used to be a zombie villager that I happened to catch while, while visiting your area. Since he is native to this area, I thought it would be, be polite to bring him back. He is a priest, priest, who trades glowstone. Very useful. Also, uh, what else did I bring? Lots of fish. The fish are for your many amazing cats that you have in this section of the wildlife refuge. It's amazing. They, they are so beautiful and I can't wait to learn more about all of them. There we go. And then let's see, anything else we wanna say? Uh, I feel like I brought him some glowing things, some gemstones, some, oh. Ah, the, um, the banana saplings. They wouldn't grow well in my area, so I'm hoping they will do better in this climate for you. All right, and I think that's everything. I can't know what else I leave. I feel like I left something else. No, I think I just had to explain the villager and then everything else is just presents. Lots and lots of presents. No! <laughs> One second. <sighs> there we go, fixed it. All right, so now the book is properly signed and we've got the nice little gift all lined up. I'm actually gonna put down, I know this seems kind of weird, but because I have it here, I'm just gonna fill this with lettuce. It makes kind of like a nice border between the fish and everything else. And there we go, all right, you guys. Well, we'll take just a second to kind of glance at the absolutely beautiful cats once again. I think it's kind of funny how there's a whole bunch of different, um, different chickens roaming around too. Look at them, look at them, you guys. Man, the detail he did on these skins. I don't even have words. Ocelot, Ocelot, Ocelot. Hey guys. Let's see, Ocelot, Ocelot. I don't see him. All right, come on girls. You can, well actually girls, you stay here. You seem comfortable here. And I'm gonna cross over here. And the last thing, Lolan Paka, little Lolan Paka, who is so cute. Lolan Paka, Lolan Paka, who's adorable. We're gonna come over, there's the ice cream, here's the caves, restaurant, 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 is this a restaurant? Yeah, and here we are at the restaurant. So this will be the last thing we do, and also I'll leave a little note too. Oh, that would be so fun, whoops, I'm already adding to my note, I don't mean to be adding to my note, I can't believe we've come back so soon. All right, hello, waiter Antonio, how are you today? Um, let's see. Do I want something just to start me off? Uh, we'll, we'll grab this mango drink just to start us off. We'll come back over. Waitress Laura, how are you doing today? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna sit down. Sit down and wait for her to get close enough. Oh, I can't reach her from here. Waitress Laura, 
Hello, Waitress Laura. Okay, well, I'm going to sit here instead. All right, Waitress Laura, pardon me. I'm ready. I'm ready to eat again. She'll walk back this way. I've got confidence. You know, you can't, you can't be too, too fussy. You just have to be patient. Oh, there she goes. All right. Hello, Waitress Laura. Yeah, there we go. So now we're back and we're figuring out what we're going to eat here because I think this is just absolutely fantastic. The Galo Pinto. Um, we'll grab some of that. Main meals. Let's go for this again because you guys were saying this is delicious. Ooh, that's a little expensive, but that's okay. We got it. That's, it's, it's fun expensive. And then um, the plantains again. I think we'll go for the plantains again. And yeah, we'll get two plantains. There we go. All right, so we've got our little meal, which is so exciting. We can eat our little starter. Whoops. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and there, turn. Eat our little starter. Why, hello. Thank you. The food's very good. Don't really need you, like, right over my head as I eat it, though. All right. Is that our food? Yeah, look at that. Look at that. I love it. I love it. Okay, let's come over. And we'll leave another note. Um, so excited to be back again. Service was great. Food, fantastic. Uh, can't wait for more. All right. And then can I leave that? Siri. And then we'll put, like, um, the tw or 30th. Can I fit that? 30th. Can I, can I fit everything? All right, let's try Jan. 30. And then we'll just put 16. There we go. It fit. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, oh, yeah. Wow, I wrote a lot last time. Excellent service and stunningly beautiful place to settle down and eat something while exploring the wildlife refuge. I really enjoyed that you had lots of vegan options. If I could say anything... Uh, I it messed that up. I'd, if I could say anything, I'd suggest a tip jar for your weight stuff. The service was wonderful and the food fantastic. All right, good. So pretty much more of the same of the amazing stuff that we have had before. And that's just awesome. And let's go glance at the caves just once more before, like, the caves. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. Like, oh, my gosh. I don't think we came down to these caves. I don't recall coming down to these caves. I feel so overwhelmed with fantasticness every time we come here. And there's just like trees everywhere. So you feel like you're nice and closed. All right. Here's these caves. Look at the pillars. What is this? Four-eyed, four-eyed, what? Brown four-eyed, oh, what? There's a brown four-eyed possum? That'd be so cool. That would be so cool. I didn't even thought about using like the rat as a possum. That's perfect. That is perfect. Look at how detailed. It's a small, small exhibit, but it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect for the possum. And it just has all of those little touches, the details of the plants, the curves of the like carpenter's blocks. It's got the divincing pieces. Oh my goodness. This is so cool. The little Paca. Oh, look, you can see into their little exhibit. That's so precious. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh my goodness, does it keep going? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Ah, oh, I have to lean against the wall again. This is just too exciting. Man, and the corner pieces. I feel like everything Alex does just makes me, my jaw on the floor and feel a little bit like striped knee tarantula. I don't even have words for how fantastic this is. I could come to the wildlife refuge all the time and to think that Pretty much everybody on Zoo Crafting is trying to build awesome stuff like this. I want to have more awesome stuff like this. <laughs> oh, I'm blown away. I am blown away. Striped knee and tarantula. Oh my gosh. Look at this professionalism. Look at this sleekness. Armored rat. Oh my goodness. I didn't even think about using defensing to make water. <gasps> That's brilliant. That's brilliant. Utter brilliance. Yak Yapuk. Yapuk. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And the little cave in the back for it. These are perfect miniature exhibits. I don't even. I can't even. I can't even. Blackish small eared shrew. I, I, I can't even. This is just too perfect. This is just. This is just too perfect. Mexican hairy dwarf porcupine oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh mexican hairy dwarf porcupine that is going to be a porcupine one day this is all leaf cutter ants leaf cutter ants the perfection levels 
are too high. They're too high. Alex. And I call, I, I am, you guys, I am but the novice. The groveling novice to Alex's masterpiece. Bullet ants. I don't even have words for how fantastic this is. The Hercules beetle. I am so happy right now. This is everything I ever wanted. Speckle, spectacled caiman. Oh my goodness. I think it's going to be added in later. Oh, it's even got like little handrails. So you can just grab it and like lean forward and see what's over here. This is too perfect. Brazilian wandering spider. That's all it needs. That's all they really need to be able to show so much. And oh my gosh. Lolo Lampak again. And just look at this. Look at this again. It just reeks of professionalism in the best way. I say reeks, but you know what I mean? It's just, it, it glistens, glows, glows with professionalism. It's so lovely. I feel like I'm at a real zoo. This is so amazing. This is so amazing. This is so amazing. Okay. Well, we've looked at that. That wasn't the caves I planned on looking at, but it was totally worth it. I'm sorry, Vendor. Dude, I don't think I have enough. I don't have enough. Um, unfortunately, not enough wooden coins left. But we got so much stuff. We've got some delicious food to eat again. I didn't even get to go yet to, to prank Pava. We'll have to do that tomorrow. Because once again, Alex's place has just left my jaw on the floor. I feel totally inspired. And I remember why we ended up doing Tate's entire place and why we're working so hard because I want to be able to be on this level. I think he would win all of the stars if we were doing like five out of five stars and things like that. I think he would win all of the stars, just sweep them off the ground. We wouldn't even, like, not even a contest, Iris, not even a contest. All right, let's go this way. All right. I want to just look around just a teensy bit more because I'm still just blown away. Custom built fencing on the left side here. Oh my gosh. And there's that little, little beetle. And here we are. Here we are. Night vision, well I don't need to use the night vision potions because I have this guy actually. Boom. And the big caves again. The use of the carpenter's blocks for the curves just makes everything so nice. Everything is so nice. Oh my gosh, and all these pieces that are still under construction. <sighs> We've got a ways to go, you guys, but I am very excited about it. Oh, and it's Nierne. Hey, yo, Nierne. All right, there we go. Well, we're just about done here, I think. Let's just walk back to the teleporter, and then I'll gather up the girls and all of the songs of the birds. Oh, jeez. It's just wonderful. All right, so this is one of the teleporters, transporters even. And let's gather up our puppies. Come on, Zozo. All right, come on, Lily. Come on, Iris. I hope you guys had a good time. And we're going to go ahead and teleport back home. But you guys, I hope you have enjoyed entrance building. I hope you've enjoyed seeing Alex's place once again. Because every time we come, I'm just blown away. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh. <gasps> Is that where we came in? Or no, I think that's something new he's working on. It's so amazing to come here. It's so amazing. So I hope you guys enjoy stopping by. We're definitely going to have to visit more of the other, ex like other, I almost said exhibits. I'm in other places in the world that our friends are working on. Nierne has been doing some amazing stuff with her coral reef. So I'll ask her if I can go over and visit that. We'll have to start doing that more. And we are, we are with our Saturday specials. And it's so wonderful just to spend all of this time together and to be able to just visit everyone and leave presents. And tomorrow we are going to go and we are going to prank Pavo pretty good with some pea fowl. So how about, how about that kind of tongue twister, huh? Yeah, look at all this pea fowl. So we should have a good time, and I'm so glad that we've managed to give those presents to Alex finally. And let's see, I need to put my little my little trinket away. That's why I still have night vision on. There we go. And I will see all of you guys next time. So I will meet you guys at, at Pavo's place tomorrow. And until then, everybody, I hope you are all having an amazing day, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.